Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you how to attach your slide leash to your Grom handboard. There's two different ways to do it, so uh, stay tuned and check it out. Uh, now I've already showed you how to attach your GoPro to the front of your board or to anywhere on your board. Uh, so go check that out, that's in our YouTube as well. Michelle will put a link to that in the comments below. But for now what we're going to show you how to do is to put your leash. Now there's two different ways to actually do this. Firstly, we'll do the easy way, which is you don't need to do anything to your board. It's just a simple attachment. and. What we have is a bicep leash, so the bicep leash simply fits like that onto your arm and the other end, this end, will fit somewhere on this board. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to fit that on. The simple way, under your strap like that, so this is adjustable to any size hand, you just fit it in like that. I like to keep it down there. You thread it back through and then voila! Your leash is attached to your board. So the reason we like to use the bicep leash is because it actually reaches all the way back here and it also lets your board float out a little bit longer. You can also use a wrist leash for this attached exactly the same way but for this one we actually really like the uh, the bicep leash so again we'll put the link to the bicep leash that you can get for your for your grom board now so that's the easy way so it's pretty much your set you can go out like this this is really tough it's not going to come off and you're set to go now if you want to do a little bit more i want to say not to say this is not permanent because it's staying right there but if you actually want to have your leash in a, in a different place, you're going to need to do a few things. Firstly, what you're going to need is a screwdriver, this little attachment. So it's a male and a female. One comes with a little kind of screw. This is the top piece or the female piece which will go in the top of your board. Okay, taking those in mind, you now need a screwdriver. We recommend a, a Phillips head screwdriver because it's sharp. Now what you want to do is you want to you want to find a point on your board that you feel that you want your your leash to attach to, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to punch a hole straight through this, through the other side. We're going to attach that like such and screw it in through the board. As you can imagine, that's a pretty permanent Fixture. Don't worry about the board sucking in water. This is a closed cell foam. As you can see, it's actually these little pieces of foam are all basically waterproof. This already happens if you can see over here with your GoPro mount and also with that. So you actually have one, two, three holes in it already. So in short, don't worry about it. So what you want to do is on our high end boards, you have the um, the leash plug is actually situated on the left hand side. You can either choose left or right. Honestly, it's just a preference if you, uh, it, it really doesn't matter which size you put it on. You want to pick your place, okay, on your board. Don't do this at an angle like that. Be very careful about putting the screwdriver in straight. And then what you want to do is just shove it in. It actually comes in really easily. And then before you get to the bottom, you can see the way that it's actually kind of probing through there. Don't go all the way through. These boards are heat welded together, they're not glued. Even that being said, what, what's going to happen is there's a chance that you could rip the, this bottom HDPE material from the foam core and you don't want that to happen. So now you've got your your little protrusion, you know where your, your screwdriver is. You just take it like that and you twist it around. Just be careful that your hand on the other side. And also kids, if you're doing this, please ask a parent. Don't use a screwdriver, jab yourself. So, then you take that end and you just shove it in like that. Boom. So as you can see, you've just got to kind of marry them up a little bit. In fact, it's sometimes easier just to do the bottom and then connect the top like that. And you just, at some point, you're going to get a connection. 
I hope I get, yep, there you go. And basically this is going to be too long. So what you want to do is then take a pair of pliers like such and you just screw it in like that. Or cut it, sorry, not screw it. Yeah. There you go. And so now you have, now you want to continue going until this is pretty much flush with the board. It'll actually, um, it'll actually go right in. But that's not going anywhere. And then you want to take your cord for the end of your leash like such. You want to just take it from one side. See how this is like a ridge over here. You just feed it in underneath like this. This is where it's pretty much the same as any other leash that you're going to attach. So what you want to do, see the way that I've just wrapped it around like that. Pull it all the way through so that you've got some, some room to work with with these two ends. You just take it, and I believe it's called a granny knot or something along those lines. And you just, together, you just fold them in like that. Make that thing and just... This material is designed specifically, I think it's a... Um, a nylon of some sort that is really went you know it's unlike those shoelaces that kind of untie really quickly these don't right so that ties up really quickly like that and now you got a solid solid connection to your board for your leash so pretty much there you have it those are the two different ways that you can do it you can either put it very simply through your uh, strap or if you want to you can do a more permanent fixture which is a leash plug straight through your board and attach. So now you have you have your GoPro attachment on the front and then you have your leash at the back and then of course you got your strap. So you're pretty much uh, all geared out, geeked out on, on your handboard. So if you guys have any questions on how to do that, if you think I may have done it wrong, we've got any comments, definitely leave them in the comments below. and. Um, yeah, um, that's pretty much how you do it.